Hi guys! So, uh, my day hasn't been that exciting. I only bobbinated a whole bunch of threads, uh, the ones I got at Michael's, uh, and ran out of bobbins, so I have to buy more of those. And I have actually done some cross stitching on my blue dragon. But I thought I'd talk a little bit about my plans, craft wise, for 2015. And they are small but good, I think. Um, I already have three projects in the go, three works in projects. I have two heads, my Wrath and my Blue Dragon. So, and my, then I have my Dimension Teddies. And all of those kits are pretty big. So I don't want to start now anything big really, but I couldn't stop myself. A while ago I saw that the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery is having a new sampler, a kawaii a storybook sampler. I love storybooks, I love everything kawaii, so I have gotten it. I bought the pattern. Um, it's one of those patterns that's come a little bit every month, all year, which I think is kind of cool. i never done one of those patterns before, so this is gonna be fun. Um, but I got the, the like initial part, you don't get the pattern, you just get the list and then you get the first pattern, the 15th. Um, but you get a list of all the materials that you're gonna use. So I also went and bought the linen. I'm gonna do this on linen. Um, my first idea was to do it on even weave because I like that material a little bit better but uh, I couldn't find the colorway in in even weave. They only had it in linen or in Aida and I don't want to do it on Aida so I chose linen so I'm going to do it with my first linen 32 count Lucana um, hand colored really beautiful color I will show you when it arrives um, I also ordered a few dye works, week dye works, because that was they wanted like six or seven of them, in the, so I got them too. So I have my first hand dyed threads. I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but it's a beautiful, it's a possible beautiful sampler. I don't know how it looks, but I really like the kawaii versions of uh, the Frosted Pumpkin Citrus, so... I thought, why not? Let's do this. Let's start somewhere, right? Um, uh, and yeah. Uh, also, I decided to do a bunch of small stitches, like the small you get in the magazines. Maybe getting another few small bits and pieces. Might be planning some Easter decorations. A little bit of that, this and that. Um, because I want to have more finishes. Last year I didn't have that many finishes because I didn't do that many small projects. Um, having the two heads that I know I won't finish this year and my teddies that I probably will finish but it probably will be one of the few I will finish. Hopefully will finish the Frosted Pumpkins to Chewy Sampler. That would be nice. But yeah, so that is basically the small plans for cross stitch this year because I don't want to I don't want to invest myself this early in the year in too many projects. I want to see how everything goes. Then I have all my other crafts. Uh, I have a shawl that I was hoping to get done before the year end. Uh, I was hoping to be able to uh, uh, be as an entry in a competition but I ran out of steam and I ran out of time so that is that I want to finish um, also I discovered I have a whole bunch of yarns um, these self striving yarns so I want to knit them up for socks so I'm going to try to do at least a pair of socks every other month We'll see how that will work, but hopefully that will work and then I will have finished off all my yarns and then I can buy a new one. Um, I want to continue sewing 
a little bit more. I want to do more um, frames. My camera is dying, so uh, I want to do more more frame covers and stuff like that. Maybe do some quilting, and then I have my paper crafts, which I hopefully, uh, when this flu has gone, can start making three videos a week instead of two and be a good girl and get them up in time and everything so that is my kind of craft ideas for this year but I am actually uh, on my way to bed so thank you so much for watching good night sleep tight don't let the bed bugs bite bye